This video will show you how to perform a chi-squared test for independence. Let's take a look at our data. We have two categorical variables, each taking on two values. So we have gender, which takes on the value of boy or girl. Then we have height, which takes on the value of short or tall, nothing in between. You're either short or you're tall. Then of the people we surveyed, 13 of them were short boys, 48 of them were tall boys, and so on. Now the goal of this is to determine if the variables gender and height are associated. Let's go ahead and form our formal null hypothesis. Our formal null hypothesis will be that gender and height are not associated. You could also write that gender and height are independent. Our alternative hypothesis then will be that gender and height are associated. Now let's go ahead and write our SAS code. The first thing that we should do is get this into a table format. So we're going to use proc freak data equals demo. On the next line, we're going to say tables and then specify the two variables that will be in our table. Well, it's just going to be gender and height. And now we can specify some options here. And you can play around with these on your own. A couple of these are just going to be to clean up our table. Last, we need to specify the weight, and that's going to be our count variable. Now let's go ahead and run this. And let's take a look at our results. First, we notice that our table is in a great format. We see that gender and height are the two variables. And we can take a look at our observations and see that 48 boys were classified as being tall or there were 36 girls classified as being short. Coming down to the statistics, we see we have chi-square with one degree of freedom and a value of 16.64 for our test statistic and then a p-value of less than 0.0001. Given an alpha of 0.05, we can definitely reject our null hypothesis. And then our final conclusion, going back to our hypotheses, we can say that we will definitely reject our null hypothesis and then assume that gender and height are associated.